Yeah, I know you see me all in your notifications. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. If you are new here and you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. Join the family, join the gang. Y'all, I apologize for not having a vlog last week. Um, if you guys aren't new here, then you know that your girl got back from Africa and I really just needed to take that whole week to one, get my time back on track, my time and my uh, sleep schedule, going back to work, all of that. So I did vlog a little bit really not much like it was literally one day and I was just I went to get my hair braided for my wigs and I unboxed um a tripod so I'll enter the tripod clip for sure it is 5 25 I got a package from the zone and I know what it is it is a well it was a lot of things it came in two separate packages um I ordered some stuff for my business and then this is a new tripod that I'm excited about, y'all. I had to order a new tripod because my old one I have, let me tell you the story about the old one. But the old one I have, it broke while I was in Africa. Uh, when we went on a safari, I had it in the car that we were riding in and I guess something must have smushed it. So uh, something on it broke and now it won't, like if my camera's on it, it'll fall. Not my camera will fall, but like, it's not steady it just flaps I can't really explain it but so that's a tripod the story about it is my freshman year when I first started doing YouTube there was this boy he used to hang out with these girls across the hall from Elise and I and I remember his name his name is Shanko I don't know I don't think he watches me anymore but if you do hey boo I remember and I highly appreciate it he used to watch me on YouTube mind you he didn't go to DSU I think he went to Wesley which was down the street from DSU but DSU now owns Wesley um and he told me he was like oh I watch you on YouTube da, da, da. so I was like oh good looks and one day he just gave me the tripod he was like I have a tripod you can have it mind you at the time I was very heavy on like vlogging that's all I really did so I didn't really start utilizing the tripod till the end of my freshman year. But yes, that's where that tripod came up, came from, and I had it ever since. So technically, it was kind. I was kind of overdue for a new tripod. Um, cause how many years ago was that? I think he gave it to me at the end of 2016, if not early 2017, cause it was my freshman year. So that's what five years. So tripod been through some things with me so i went ahead and ordered a new one from amazon this is what the box looks like you busy you you be size you be size whatever i don't know so what i like about this tripod for starters y'all see it come in a little baggy if i had a bag for my other tripod it probably wouldn't have broke but this one got a bag so <laughs> we gonna be lit especially because y'all know now i'm trying to uh be more active on instagram which by the way if you're not following me make sure you do so but that requires me actually going out and taking pictures and i don't just gotta hold my tripod in my hand i got a little carry-on uh travel bag with it now so that was one thing that i liked about this too it comes with a little well for starters it comes with a piece that you can switch out and put your phone in I have like two of these already that I used to use with my other tripod but so like this is my phone and I'll put it in here and then I just twist this onto the uh, tripod and now I can use it like that I can turn the phone this way if I wanted to so that's really cool it comes with this and then what really sold me y'all is it has a little bluetooth remote mind y'all my ring light came with a remote like this but i don't know what happened to it and also my phone the camera i use to take my pictures my canon um it's an app and i use the app to take my pictures like from my phone i can use my phone as a remote which is cool and all it's been coming in clutch but when I'm taking my pictures and I have to use the button on my phone to actually, if it's a full body picture, it don't really work. Because now I got my big old pink phone in my hand and it's kind of awkward. Like the pictures that I posted on Instagram when I was in the snow. I don't know if the ones I picked. Yeah, so y'all can see it. Look at this. So my phone is literally in my hand and that's just kind of awkward. Like that one. All right, so for the last, well, for the third one. It was in my bag but I had to set the timer and I pressed the button and then I had to throw the phone in my bag I had to be fast because it was a three second timer and it was freezing outside y'all but I feel like this is uh, way smaller and more discreet 
But let's go ahead and open her up. I think I'm going to go try to take pictures. It's still raining, by the way, y'all. It's raining bad, but it should stop by the time I'm going to work. Um, I want to say tomorrow, but I kind of, like, taking pictures for me is low-key an all-day process. So maybe I'll do it on Monday because I'm off of work. But this is her, y'all. And also, this one's, well, the old tripod, it was sturdy enough to hold my big camera. But I will say... That day it was snowing and I went outside to take the pictures, y'all. The tripod was moving, okay? I was trying to hold it from knocking over. It was ready to, yeah, topple over. So I feel like this one looks like it's more sturdy. It's heavy duty. And yeah, I like her. So it has this little hook thing that, so my other tripod had this too, but I never really knew what it was for. But when I was looking at pictures of this, um, oh, and it like swivels, um, when I was looking at pictures of this one, I saw what it was actually used for. So if you have like a backpack or something, um, you can hang it right here as you're taking your photos. Um, this, I can make the top, like, let's say if my legs is all down, but it's still not tall enough, I can use this right here. And it'll make this part go up some more to add some height to your tripod. This is the piece on my old tripod that broke. So, But it was like broke from inside, so... The top part would just lean like that, like on its own. It, it would fall, if that's making sense to y'all. But you screw your camera up here. You can use this to get the angles right. Luckily, like this is literally just like my old tripod. I thought I was going to have to learn a whole bunch of new things or something. I don't know. But yeah, this is my new tripod. I cannot wait to utilize it. I will put the link to this tripod in the description box. I got it for 37% off. Okay, I don't know if it's still, you know, <laughs> like that. Let me check now. Because if it ain't, if it's still like this now, I'm putting this vlog up in two days. So if you were early bird, you might catch it. Otherwise, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's still 37% off. So it's originally $60 and I got it for $38. So... That's good. And it also says it's number one bestseller on Amazon. So, look at that, look at that. Come with the, the bag, the remote, and a piece for your phone as well. The hair clip was honestly just something to vlog. It was nothing special, y'all. <laughs> um, but anyway, so today, <laughs> it's the end of the week again, and I'm just now picking up my camera. But it's all right, because we have an eventful, well, tomorrow will be eventful. Today is not really eventful, but I definitely wanted to, you know, capture this on the vlog. So your girl <laughs> is about to get some surgery done, as y'all can tell by the title. But it's not too crazy, y'all. I'm getting my wisdom tooth pulled. Um... And I'm scared, okay? I do not like the dentist. I have a couple vlogs on my channel where, you know, I had to make visits to the dentist. And I already expressed to y'all how much I do not like the dentist. Little update, though, because I think the last vlog I was telling you guys about, um, well, the last vlog that I was at the dentist, I was telling y'all the price of a crown because I needed to get a root canal and how it was so expensive. Well, I do have the crown on. They already applied the crown. It's paid for everything. It looks like a real tooth. I'm not going to show you guys because, I don't know, that's weird. Y'all don't want to see all in my mouth. Um, but today, I'm going to get a wisdom tooth pulled. I'm actually getting another tooth next to it pulled um, as well. So I'm getting two teeth pulled today. If it was up to me, I wouldn't have gotten any of my wisdom teeth pulled but um a dentist had recommended that I since I was already getting this other tooth pulled and I wanted to get put to sleep for that they was like you know undergoing the anesthesia is the most what's the word risky if you will part of the procedure so they don't recommend you know constantly being put to sleep so that she was like if I'm getting put to sleep for this one tooth they might as well take take out um the wisdom tooth but she only really recommended this wisdom tooth because it is growing under my gums like it hasn't erupted up all my other um wisdom teeth they're kind of slanted but the surface is you know the top of the tooth so it's okay but the surface of this root uh what's it called wisdom tooth is sideways I'm not really going to get all into that. I'm no dentist. I'm no expert. But if I had to get one of my wisdom teeth removed, she highly recommended this one. So getting two teeth pulled today. And I'm getting put to sleep, y'all. Never, ever got put to sleep. So I'm probably not going to remember it to come back and tell you guys. But I will definitely update you guys on how I'm feeling 
and everything so that's something so i'm actually all dressed i just still have on my robe because i'm a little cold but they recommended um loose clothing uh closed toe shoe which is winter so regardless i was gonna wear that so i have on and like dark clothes that i don't mind you know messing up if you know just in case as a precaution so i just got on some sweats this black shirt i'm gonna put on a black hoodie um and yeah y'all so i will talk to you guys when we get to the dentist so y'all i'm at the dentist it is <laughs> it's 10 58 my appointment's at 11. yes thing mommy about to go in you gonna miss me no she said uh -uh. but yeah so I didn't tell you guys this earlier, but I'm hungry, okay? I You're not allowed to eat or drink anything. The paper said within the first eight, um, like eight hours before your appointment, but they told me to start at midnight last night, so you girls hungry? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry, okay? And then after the surgery, it's not even like I can eat right away because I'm going to be missing, you know, I'm going to have holes in my mouth. Like, so, yeah. Only thing I'm probably going to be able to eat is mashed potatoes. So, I'm about to go in and I cannot drive myself home from the appointment after being put to sleep. So, luckily, babe's mom lives right down the street. So, him and Kaya are about to go wait for me there and then come back to get me. And, yeah, y'all. So, this is my last check-in before I'm all drugged up. I don't know if it's going to, you know, like be worn off by the time it's not gonna be one off completely obviously because that's why i can't drive home by myself but i don't know if i'm like gonna be slurring my words i don't know what y'all i'm not i'm scared i'm nervous yes thank so i will see you guys when we get back good morning y'all it is the next day clearly i have to come back on the next day because that whole procedure yesterday took me out and i really had no idea it was going to be as bad as it was like i had a whole hair appointment yesterday i was supposed to go to work um later on that night like i had things planned i did not think it was going to be this bad this was not my first tooth i got pulled it was my first time getting put to sleep and it was the first wisdom tooth so i feel like it was impacted too i think i told you guys how this uh, wisdom tooth was growing beneath my gum so like it was a whole actual surgical procedure they had to do i feel like that's what messed me up i was not prepared for none of that and y'all probably like well still regardless why'd you have a whole day plan plan so initially the appointment was supposed to be monday and i scheduled this appointment like two months back um but i didn't up i didn't add me getting put to sleep but i knew i wanted to get put to sleep for this one because the first tooth i got taken out um it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. My first tooth ever getting taken out, I was really, really scared for that. Like, my anxiety was through the roof. It wasn't bad. Like, I literally didn't feel nothing. And I felt nothing after the numbness wore up. I didn't feel, like, that was a great, it wasn't a great experience, but, like, top tier. That's how I thought this was. This one was going to feel. It's just with that first tooth, again, I didn't feel it, but I was expecting to feel it. So, like, as he was pulling the tooth out, I wasn't asleep for that appointment. As he's pulling the tooth out, I'm, like, out of my seat, cringing. And I just didn't want to have to go through it with this one. So, I wanted to, you know, add the sedation on. So, when I had called to add it on, like, two weeks ago, they had to change the day of my appointment to the Friday. So, when I had made the hair appointment with the girl, I totally forgot about this appointment. And then work, again, my appointment was at 11 a.m. So by 9 o'clock, if it was anything like the first time I got my tooth pulled, I really thought I would have been good. But y'all, no, that was not the case. So uh, let me tell y'all how this experience went. <laughs> okay, worse than childbirth, if I do say so myself. Like, when I gave birth to Kaya before I got the epidural, granted, obviously it hurt enough that I had to get epidural. Because originally, I did want to go natural or whatever, but I was in pain. I was in pain. But... I was more so in pain, like, don't talk to me, don't touch me, don't even look at me kind of pain, like, I'm screaming. But yesterday, I was crying, like, and it was so bad <laughs> because it hurt to cry, y'all. Like, I was in so much pain. So, let me tell y'all how the procedure went and everything. Last time I left off, I was going into the office. So, going to the office, first of all, they had me in the waiting room for an additional 30 minutes. And I guess Friday is their surgery days because there was a lot of people there getting surgery. Like, a lot of people were there with their companionship if you will companion whatever but once they had to go to the back they told them they had to wait in the car or whatever um so i was like babe could have came in with me, but he had kaya anyway so he went to go see his grandmother actually he never went to his mom's house so um yeah when they brought me to the back room she hooked me up to these machines she had my finger in one thing she had one on my stomach and i think one was up here and then the doctor came in and he confirmed what teeth he was pulling out he recommended 
me getting another wisdom tooth pulled out. So I only got initially I didn't want to get no wisdom teeth pulled out, y'all. My wisdom teeth were not bothering me. They were not hurting. The only damage my wisdom teeth really did over the year is my bottom row of teeth. If you guys have been watching me for a while, my teeth used to be I don't mean to toot my own form, but they were perfect. They were perfect. And I cannot wait to get that smile back. Which is why I'm going through all of this. Stay tuned. But yeah, my wisdom teeth, the bottom ones grew in sideways, so it shifted my whole bottom row. Blah, 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 blah. Um, this one, though, like I said, was growing beneath the gums, so they really recommended me get this one out. Then yesterday, he's all like, my top, since this wisdom tooth is gone, the top wisdom tooth is going to continue growing down, and I'm going to be biting on my gums. So he recommended me to get that one out. And I'm like, right, we're not doing that today, though, so... No, <laughs> we just gonna focus on this one that they told you to take out initially. Um, so last thing I remember him asking me was how old I was, <laughs> and then they put the IV in, and it was so crazy, y'all, because like you literally felt the drugs kicking in, if you will. I wouldn't say I was asleep though, I was not asleep. It's so funny because I had told babe, like. It felt like I was playing a game. I don't know if you guys ever seen that movie with Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg and like how they portray the whole weed smoking thing. Like the experience felt like what TV portrays doing drugs as. Like I was seeing a bunch of colors and movements and like I felt myself being tugged back and forth. Um, I didn't hear anything though. It was just it was like crazy but when they put the IV in and I felt it working I started laughing because like you really get dizzy and it was just it was crazy yo um I don't know how long the procedure lasted it felt long but quick at the same time like I felt like I was seeing all of those colors and the movements for a mad long I guess because it was more it was annoying but I feel like the procedure was actually pretty quick next thing I remember a different lady had came in and woke me up and she had to like walk me to another room like hold me on her <laughs> type thing and I had to sit in the other room till babe came babe came and they explained to him the follow-up procedures and everything so at this point I'm still numb I'm still good um they had a gauze in my mouth to obviously ooh, obviously soak up all the extra blood and I feel like this is where not they messed up or anything, but I'm numb, so I'm not feeling anything. I just know I have something. I didn't even know it was a gauze till I got home. I don't know. It's something. I thought I was swollen. That's what I thought it was, and I'm just biting down on, I don't know. It was just, it was weird. I can't explain it. But my tongue, once the medication started wearing off, the, the um, what's it called? The numbness started wearing off. My tongue hurt so bad, and I'm like, why does my tongue hurt? Whatever they was doing on my teeth, I know whoever had my tongue out of the way. So I feel like when they put the gauze and everything in my mouth and I was finally able to just rest, I feel like I was biting on my tongue. But I was numb, so I didn't notice that it was my tongue I was biting on. But, y'all, my tongue hurt so freaking bad. So, anyways, to make a long story short, um, again, the ride home and upon first arriving home, I was good. I was still numb. I wasn't feeling anything. But after a while, it was weird because I was still numb. I couldn't feel my mouth. I couldn't feel my cheek. But I was in pain. I'm like, why am I in pain? And I, like, I'm numb. Like, it wasn't making any sense. Um, eventually, I guess the numbness wore completely off. And I was in so much pain, y'all. And I didn't have the medication that they prescribed me yet. And I had no painkillers at home so y'all when I say it hurt like I was crying in pain and it hurt to cry like it was so freaking bad y'all my job when we initially left the dentist's office we were like 30 minutes away from my pharmacy so babe he called and the lady was like that the medication should be ready by 3 30 the latest was, this was at like 1 30 so I'm like two hours I should be okay because I've never known for it I think it's called anesthesia when they numb you. Um, I never knew for that to wear off so quickly. Like, something in two hours, I should be good. But I feel like maybe when they put you to sleep, they don't use as much of it because you can't really feel it anyways because you're asleep. I don't know, but I feel like that thing wore off super quick. I had no painkillers at home. I was really going through it, y'all. So I didn't actually get my medications till like 4 o'clock. <laughs> and at this point I've been dealing with the excruciating pain for an hour already so they prescribed me three things they prescribed me antibiotics um ibuprofen and then a third medication I don't remember the name of it but the third one she basically said to only use if I'm in excruciating pain like very very severe pain and like she even said if the pain is not that severe then don't use it kind of thing 
I really don't remember the name of it. If I remember in this vlog, I should, I'll tell you guys before or end it. But I was in severe pain. So that was the first pill that I took. The one for severe medication. I took it at 4.15. And I remember because at this point, I've already been dealing with the pain for an hour. So I was finally able to actually lay down because I was used to it. The reason, y'all probably like, why you didn't go to sleep as soon as you got home while you were still numb? I was numb, but I was in pain, y'all. Like, I couldn't get comfortable enough to go to sleep. Um... But yeah, so by this point, I'm already laying in bed, and I googled how long did it take for that drug to kick in, and it said an hour, so I'm like, all right, whatever. By the time I wake up, I should be feeling semi better. I literally woke up at like 5.30, and I was still in pain, y'all. That was more than an hour after I took that, that severe pain medication. So now I'm mad, because like, why am I still in pain? And I took the ibuprofen. Once the ibuprofen kicked in, I was good, and it wasn't painful anymore. But y'all, yesterday, to eat and everything was terrible so now it's like six o'clock and i have yet to eat anything so babe he gave me some applesauce and a bottle of water but that wasn't doing anything i'm like i'm hungry what am i doing with applesauce so i made me some mashed potatoes and they weren't that good <laughs> they were microwavable mashed potatoes they were nasty they were very chunky like how why is my mashed potatoes chunky like it's made with real potatoes it was nasty um, but I had nothing else soft to eat in the house. Did I? I didn't have soup or anything. I had noodles, and I didn't want noodles. I was going to do an Instacart order, but I didn't feel like none of that. So the day before, I had made lasagna, and I really wanted some because it was good. So I, I had me some lasagna yesterday. So it wasn't bad. Luckily, the side that I normally chew on, this is the side that I normally chew on, but this is the side that I got surgery on. So, like, chewing was no different. It was only the fact that I could barely open my mouth. Like, today I'm able to talk. Yesterday, I couldn't talk. I couldn't do nothing. So, chewing yesterday, I just had to chew, like, very small open and closes, small open and closes. I haven't tried to eat anything yet today. It's almost 11 o'clock. So, I don't know how that's going to go today, but I am hungry. <laughs> um, anyways, enough about my, you know, traumatic tooth experience. Whoever said getting your wisdom teeth pulled doesn't hurt, I ain't going to call you a liar. Because it didn't hurt. It was the aftermath. And I feel like that's what everybody says. They say it's the aftermath. But I would highly recommend you to have some kind of painkiller on hand before going to pick up um, whatever your dentist prescribed you. Because if I had some painkillers and I still took it while I was numb, by the time the numbness wore off, I would have been good. But I had nothing at home. And that's where I messed up. I don't know why I thought my prescription would have been ready in one, two, three. I don't know what I was thinking, but definitely have something at home. Anyways, at the beginning of this vlog, I had told y'all that it was going to be an eventful weekend. So today is Tatum's birthday party. If you don't know who Tatum is, he's my little cousin. He's my aunt's son. Him and Kaya are seven months apart, which just now I'm having an epiphany. Like, I'm about to have a two-year-old in seven months. Where is time going, y'all? A two-year-old? That's crazy. Um, so today is his birthday party. We're about to head up there in a few. It starts at two. Initially, I was supposed to be helping my aunt decorate, but, ooh, see, after all of this, I asked my mama to take my place. But granted, I'm feeling a lot better today than I am yesterday. Like I said, I'm able to talk. I'm not in that much pain. Like, today, it's just very sore. I also have stitches in my mouth, too. I had to use the flash to see, because I was feeling something. I'm like, what is this in my mouth? I got stitches. Um... I know some type of stitches they give you will dissolve. I'm going to assume these are going to dissolve on its own because nobody talked to me about a follow-up appointment coming to get them removed. Nobody said nothing about nothing. So I'm going to assume these are going to dissolve after a while. But yeah, I woke up this morning, took a shower, and I did Kai's hair. I did want to come on and show you guys how I do her hair. But she's not that cooperative when it comes to getting her hair done. And I, I'm getting her hair done. And I just wanted to get that out of the way. But of course, y'all will see the final project. But I don't know you guys how to just see me in this one spot. So I'm just going to come back and talk to you guys when we're about to head out. I know I probably should put that bib on her before strapping her in there. She had a cookie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you had a cookie? Say hi. Hi. But y'all, that is the big Christmas tree bag <laughs> that I was telling y'all about. Well, I think I told you guys that I'm taking to my aunt's. Yeah, our nine foot Christmas tree is in there. All right. And we are on our way, y'all. It is 12.34. So, y'all, we are in these Baltimore streets. Yes, they. My speech is still a little off, but we're going to make it do what it does. Um, I believe this is where it is. Port Discovery. Never been here. So, we're about to be here for the first time together on the vlog. In case anybody's in Maryland 
and need a place for their um, child's birthday party. Let's see what it's giving. It's also really nice outside. I didn't even show you guys me yet, but I just have on a turtleneck sweater. Guy got on this sweater and a little vest jacket. It's so cute. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Vaccinations? Not you get vaccinated right here. Uh -uh. <laughs> So you guys, we are inside. I don't know if I vlogged when we went to the ice cream museum, but this is very much so what it's giving. It's so cute right here. So it is a museum, but I'm not sure what kind of museum it is. Let's say banana. I'm not trying to chase her, yo. just now realizing uh, <laughs> that I never came back on here and talked to, like face to face I didn't come and talk to you guys after I told y'all what we was doing for the day and I gave y'all that long story time about me getting my tooth pulled so hi here's my face Kai you gonna end the video y'all didn't see what I had on or anything but it was nothing special I had my bob and I had on I told y'all what I had on but y'all didn't actually see for yourself but the birthday party was fun I didn't have to talk to that many people well I didn't really have to talk to anybody for real but yeah um back home it's 6 35 my mouth hurts again so i just took some more pain medicine um i do have to work tomorrow but from the way it's looking i think i'm gonna call out because i do have to talk excuse me miss ma'am you just gonna stand in front of my camera like this mm -mm. yes you are do you want to talk but because my job y'all i talk to people and if i'm gonna have to talk like this I'm not gonna, and I can't project myself as loud as I want to. Like, I'm I'm mumbling for the most part. But, um, yes, yeah, so I think I'm gonna call out of work tomorrow, and then I'm off all the way up until Wednesday again. But it's going on day three, and I just want to feel better because my mouth <laughs> is in pain, y'all. So, um, I do have to edit this vlog. I do definitely want to get it up for you guys by tomorrow. And if I'm calling out, that'd be perfect. I can edit all day tomorrow because my vlogs don't go up till 6 o'clock anyways. But I can't go two weeks in a row without um, 
post in a vlog even though this vlog i really didn't do like i barely got any footage from the birthday party and besides the birthday party i got my tooth pulled this week like i didn't really do much but in the wise words of y'all y'all don't care what i post as long as i post so that's you know what we're, the model we're going for for 2022 so with me calling out tomorrow i have plenty of time to edit i would edit right now but honestly speaking i don't feel like it i want to go to sleep i want to <laughs> take off my eyebrows you want to go to sleep too stink we gonna go sleep together come here come say hi pretty girl i'm so pretty you're the prettiest baby i know <laughs> Say bye. See you next time. Say bye. Say bye bye. She wanna say it so bad, y'all. Say bye bye. You be getting all camera shy. You so fake. She's so fake, y'all. <laughs> say bye. Say we see you in the next video, guys. Next week. Well, hopefully we're more active because this is going into next week. And uh, uh, what you doing? Stop! 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 But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, even though I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes of this week coming up. And hopefully next time you guys see me, I'm in better spirits and I'm doing a lot more. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all. Go on and subscribe. Don't forget it. And for Friday.